Before I uh, uh, let T.A. come up to preach a great word, I just want to bring you a brief pastoral announcement. If you're a guest, you should know, just for a sense of orientation, we have been in the recent weeks in a campaign, an expansion campaign for a chapel and youth and missions space Uh, improvements around the current facility, adult classroom space, parking, a baptistry, and just all sorts of things. And it's not been a small uh, undertaking. The consultant who has helped us through the whole process said he believed that probably the sweet spot for us would be uh, somewhere between 10 million and 12 million Uh, as a a reachable goal if everybody stepped in full of faith and uh, generosity. And so we, acting on his counsel, set our goal on the conservative side at $10.5 million. Far and away the biggest campaign we've ever had. And now I'm going to tell you the tension, uh, the tightrope that I'm walking right now. Because any number of you, you stepped out in faith a week or two ago, and you've been excited, and you've been asking me, what's the big announcement, what's the number, and and I want to tell you that uh, at the same time, even as of this morning, others of you are still sitting in your pledge cards. And so how do I celebrate with those who've already stepped and motivate those of you who are still thinking, you know, I need to do that. I haven't got around to that yet because every single gift matters. Every single pledge matters. So I was asking the Lord, how do I do this? Uh, And I feel like he gave me the answer. This morning what I want to announce is that we have now hit and crossed that initial goal that we had of $10.5 million. That's a huge praise. Praise the Lord. I am so excited and I am so grateful. Now, I want to incentivize or motivate or inspire the others of you because I know you're out there. You're the type who you sort of sit on your hands. You're like, I don't think I want to jump in first. I want to make sure everybody else jumped and that they're really going to get there. And then I'll go ahead and I'll do it. Now's your chance. And here's why it matters. Because the reality is the trajectory that we're on right now is putting us, if things continue throughout this week, and then I will make a declaratory announcement next Sunday. Things right now are trending in such a way that I believe I can say safely, we are going to come nearer the high end of the goal that the consultant gave us than the low end of that goal. And so I need you and I want you. If you have been saying, I'm going to get to that, and I, this is your chance. And it really does matter because... You remember from the presentations that we did about 75 of, that most of you came to one of, uh, that there were some things in those improvements that were like, we might not be able to get all of it, but well, progressively, even this past week, we're like, I think that that's gonna be able to move into the other column. And so the news is very good, and I believe he's in the midst of doing immeasurably and abundantly more than we could have ever asked or imagined. And so step in full of faith, join the rest of us, and I'll say thank you ahead of time for that. It's just a wonderful season, and I'm so excited, and I'm so grateful to you for the intentionality and, and the faithfulness that you've demonstrated in these weeks. Any number of you have said, now, how do, you, how do we actually do the giving for legacy? Because today starts month number one of month 20, uh, 26 months, right? Yes, it does. So how do we do that? Well, uh, several different ways. If you're a cash giver, you'll notice that today you got two envelopes. Not just the normal envelope, but, but another envelope. And that's the legacy envelope. And so you can d- designate uh, your normal tithes and offerings over here and then your legacy giving over here. And that way, in accounting, they'll know how to mark that for you. If you write a traditional check, you can just put in the memo line, uh, you know, uh, uh, $100 for the legacy and $100 for the tithes or however it is that you, you just tell them and they'll mark it the way that you instruct them. 
And then if you're uh, more technical and you're giving electronically nowadays, all you got to do is text the word legacy to 797979 and you'll get the link uh, sent straight to you by which you can do your giving or you can do your pledging for those of you who still uh, want to step in and do that. And if you're using your uh, desktop or your laptop, you can just go online and you'll see now that they have put a little drop down in the menu beneath the normal tithes and offerings that says legacy. And that way you can go in and put your amount there and even program that for the future uh, if it's going to be an ongoing uh, sort of thing and you want to have that measured out uh, accordingly. So that's all the news. Thank you so much. It's an exciting season and I just could not be more grateful on this Thanksgiving weekend.